you know, transition's a really long process, and there's a lot, a lot to it. The, the most important thing to me was I wanted to be able to walk out in public in women's clothes and not be looked at weird. I wanted to be taken for a woman at face value. And I knew that if I ever had to talk to anybody, I was going to have to sound like a woman too. So early in my transition, I started thinking about my voice. And, you know, I'll just play a quick clip for you of what my voice used to sound like, just so you can get a quick reminder. This is me. This contest came about basically when uh, I had visited Denmark with Tom uh, after starting up. We began discussions about having a contest, and the most logical contest was to make a web... Voice is really important to get right, and it's something that takes a long time. So I was lucky enough that I had, when I was younger, I was in high school and younger, I was doing a lot of acting in plays, and I learned to project and speak loudly, and I learned to, um, you know, do character voices and different accents and blah blah blah, and voice warm-ups. And that, those things all were really helpful for me um, in my transition when I was practicing my voice. But to give you an example of kind of how powerful voice can be, I just want to try this. I haven't done this before, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's my voice. Here, I can try to talk like the way I used to talk. This is basically how I used to talk, where I'd, you know, go to school, yes, teacher, I have a question, or, you know, I would, I would basically, um, I didn't really think about my voice at all, and I, I had this much lower, just much lower pitch, and, um, when, you know, I mean, you heard it, you heard it in the video, and you can probably hear it how it's different now. Um, I think that my inflection has also changed, and I think that inflection is as big of a part of voice as pitch. In fact, I think that a lot of times inflection is more important than pitch. It's more about inflection than it is about pitch. It's more about inflection than it is about pitch. It's more about inflection than it is about pitch. It's more about inflection than it is about pitch. It's more about inflection than it is about pitch. It's more about inflection than it is about pitch. It's more about inflection than it is about pitch. So you can hear it. You can hear it in my voice. And now I, um, I, my voice naturally kind of gravitates back up to, to the way it sounds in most of my videos. Where it's kind of up here, you know, this is just this is just the range that's comfortable for me now. And it's not that different from my old voice. It's not that different from here. Um, in, in fact, I feel like I'm, I kind of have to force it now. And that's a, that's a really big point, is that my voice changed after I started using my Samantha voice every day. So I spent a year and a half practicing my voice and listening to it and hating it and trying again and trying again and watching more videos. Practice your voice. Find a few phrases. Speak, a, speak song lyrics um, um, instead of singing. Practice inflection just around the house when there's nobody around. And when you use it every day, your voice will change. My voice changed. I mean, this voice here, the voice that I use now, it does not sound the same as it did when I first started using it. When I went full-time, my voice did not sound like this. I think my voice sounds pretty good now, but it didn't sound like this when I started. I had to use it every day. Now, when I was using my voice, or when I do use my voice, these are the things that I think about. Rule number one, drink a lot of water. You need to keep your voice hydrated. Uh, rule number two is keep relaxed. You have to keep your neck and your shoulders and this area around your collarbone and everything here has to be totally relaxed. If it's not, if you're pushing it, then you're going to hurt yourself and you could damage it in the long run. Um, 
the way I was taught was that your voice is an instrument and it's a series of muscles that aren't that isn't doesn't just live here you know your voice you can even see my my voice box my Adam's apple somewhere it doesn't just live here it it's all it's this system of muscles that is kind of everywhere here and so you know massage this you know do some shoulder rolls do some neck rolls you know do these things every day every day in the morning <clears throat> um, try not to cough and clear your throat try not to do this <coughs> or because <coughs> that can damage your, th your throat instead swallow and drink some water I drink probably four of these a day I I'm serious it's a really big deal to, to do that um, and it'll really help your instrument um, Keep it hydrated, keep it relaxed. Listen to other women. Listen to how they talk. Listen to the inflections that they use. A lot of women will end their sentences up, like they're asking a question, but they're just saying, hi, my name's Samantha. And men have a very flat tone. Men have a very flat tone. Hey man, how's it going? Fine, how's it? how are you doing? All right. Want to go get some beers? Yeah, all right. Whereas women are very colorful. Oh my god, you know, I was out shopping, and then I saw this dude, and he was totally looking at me, and then I thought he was going to grab my ass, or whatever. You know, whatever. And so there's a difference there. I went through a phase where I would, I would try to do my voice higher like this. Like, I was trying to talk like this every day. And, oh my god, you know, no luck. You know, total valley girl shit. And I realized over time, after using my voice every day, that one, it was hard, I couldn't keep it up, or my voice was tired at the end of the day. And two, that wasn't really me. And I, you know, I had a pretty deep voice. I can have a pretty deep voice, like, <laughs> and I do a good Sean Connery impression, like, Legend sweetheart, welcome to the rock. And, um... But I never had, whenever I would sing, I was always a tenor or a, or a baritone. I was never a bass. Um, but I still had a pretty deep voice. And I, I still think that I have a pretty deep voice for a woman. Um, but I've learned, I've learned that that isn't really a problem. In fact, I think that a lot of women, a lot of actresses and a lot of, a lot of women that are celebrities have deep voices you know, successful actresses and in theater and in movies um, are usually, their, their, their deep voices are usually sought after. So to have this voice that's mine, it still reflects my personality. It still carries with it, you know, the years of talking like this. But but the biggest thing is to practice and to be comfortable. And if it hurts, stop because you're doing it wrong. I know how hard it is. I know how hard it is to practice voice because it's embarrassing or you feel it doesn't sound good or you can't find any private time or whatever. Practice in the shower, you know, Practice in the car, and when you can't speak, just listen. Anybody can do it. It just takes a lot of practice and dedication. So, I hope this information's been helpful for you. If anyone has additional questions, you can write me, and if I, if I get some good feedback, um, I will try to post any other thoughts I have on voice, because I know this is something that's a really big deal, and it can really make um, passing successful. So, good luck. Practice, practice, practice. Keep it hydrated. Keep it relaxed. Listen. Inflection. So, I'll see you next time.